Hey everyone, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is 4.20 in the afternoon here, so um, I know it looks like I have a lot of light, but it is actually quite dark behind me in the house. I know it's a weird thing with lighting. Um, yeah, obviously I'm not in my car. Excuse me while I have a fisherman friend. I'm actually in my old marital home. One that I will soon be, hopefully soon, moving back into. Um, it's a long story. I'll try to sum it up real quick. My husband and I are going through a divorce. Um, or we're not going through a divorce. We're getting a divorce. We've been apart now for six years. And we lived together for about nine months, I think. Give or take, yeah. Um, apart. But lived in the same house. And that was not, not a very fun time. So I moved out. And he kept the house. Um, but recently, uh, he has a partner. And I have a, had a partner. And, uh, which came to an end. So... My daughter has moved over here with her dad temporarily until I come back into the house. The agreement we come up with is kind of he's leaving the house and and then she goes away to university in the fall, next fall coming and uh, I'm hoping time will slow down real quick. But anyway, then I have a lot of cleaning to do and to get the house ready for sale and then I think I'm going to be staying here for a little while after she's gone, maybe, I don't know. And then we'll just put it on the market to sell it, so. Um, but I have a ton, a shit ton of cleaning to do. Um, some painting, just like touch up things here and there. I'd like to change some of the color themes and things like that. I mean, a lot, a lot has to be done. Um, the garage has to be sorted through every closet every oh my I'm like not even joking when I tell you my kids one is 20 and one is 17 and still has every toy from the time they were a baby so we have to figure out what are we doing with all that stuff you know I don't want to part with it it's not that I'm a hoarder it's just that it's like it kills me that my kids are 17 and 20 it, it, and I can smile about it but it really does kill me it rips my heart because if I could go like this and raise them from babies all over again, I would in a heartbeat. I would love to have another baby right now, but um, I would not like to actually have the baby. I just want to raise a kid. I loved being a mom. I mean, I know I'll always be a mom, but they don't need me like they used to. I loved doing crafts and playing with them and reading to them and doing their schoolwork with them and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's the circle of life. And it's hard, but, um, so where was I? I ramble so much. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, anyway, I've got a lot of sorting to do, a lot of decluttering and a lot of stuff to take to the garbage, whatever the dump, whatever you call it, uh, landfill. Um, a lot of things to probably donate. I am not a person who likes to sell things or wheel and deal with people. It's just not me. I'm kind of shy that way. So, but, you know, we just have a lot, a lot of yard work to get done up on. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. And I don't mind doing it. Um, problem is, is I'm also, I'm not working much lately. Um, my job was it's complicated. I left my nursing career to stay home with the girls to raise them. Um, my husband made good money, so I was fortunate enough to do that. So, and I don't regret it um, at all for one minute. It's probably why I'm too bonded to them and don't want them to go. But um, my background was nursing, so 
You know, I will always be a practical nurse, but I'm not licensed and I can't get licensed and I'm not a CCA, so I can't get hired as a CCA somewhere because I don't have CCA papers and I can't get licensed as a, unless I do the re-entry to nursery, nursery, nursing, which is like a year and it's like, I don't know, eight or $10,000. So it's just a lot of work and I don't know that I want to do it anymore. If I had my license still, yes, I would love it, but I don't. I just really don't know that I love it enough to take and go through all that again. I just don't remember things the way I used to. I'm, you know, I'm 45. I'm, it's just so damn late to start a, a life, a career all over again. I, um, I don't know. I just, I know I'm thinking and talking negatively. I just, I go to bed panicked and I wake up panicked because, you know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but... I take each day one day at a time and that's you know I really do some days I have to just go stop brain because my brain goes like all crazy on me but um, everything works out and I always know that so I just keep that into the back of my mind and when things get a little hectic in my head I'll jump on YouTube and just listen to some people or watch some videos and it always has a way to help me forget but it is difficult, you know, I am bouncing back and forth between here and my parents' place and uh, it's no fun living out of my car, my clothes and toiletries and all that kind of stuff is in, you know, totes and all that kind of stuff and I'm constantly dragging them in and dragging them out and dragging them, ugh. plus my dog. I don't bring my dog here, so he stays with my parents and it's killing me because he is my son and... Uh, Eventually, I wouldn't mind, you know, I don't know if I want to ever do daily vlogs or vlog all the time. I want to do YouTube, but I don't want to do YouTube at the same time. I like being able to get in on the conversations, and I like that people are starting to know who I am. But I don't necessarily want to have a channel at the same time. So, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. But, you know, eventually if I do make more videos or different types of stuff, you'll probably see my little boy in the background and possibly my children. I just don't feel comfortable with filming in front of anybody at all. So nobody in my private world outside of my mom who doesn't watch YouTube, my daughters, and one friend who also doesn't watch YouTube. You know, if I really wanted to get uh, subscribers, I could put it on my Facebook and I'm sure there's a lot of people that would come to watch me fail or crash and burn <laughs> whatever but I don't want my real world knowing that I do this so maybe someday who knows you never know but anyway guys that's going to be it for today just a quick hello and uh, thanks to anybody who has sub subscribed to me um, I see the number I don't really pay attention to the number a whole lot not even sure what I'm at, but I know I'm over 100, so, and just before Christmas I was at 30, so, um, thanks to all of you for watching, I guess. It means a lot to me, so, anyway, take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye.